because I'm not a storage unit, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Via Glow. If you are new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I actually wanna go over 20 different denim brands that I've picked up since the beginning of my reselling business. And I wanna go over a few of them that have been hits and a few of them that have been misses. Some of these brands I don't bother picking up anymore, but I do wanna talk about all the ones that I've been able to find while out there sourcing. So if you aren't familiar with my channel, I actually live in the DFW area, which is in Dallas, Texas. And these are the brands that I come across the absolute most. Some of these are one-off brands, which I've been able to find one time and they've sold fairly quickly or they've taken a while to sell. So first I'm gonna be putting each one of these brands in a category, which is gonna be either fast, mid or long so the fast category is going to consist of an item selling between zero days to two weeks and then the mid category is going to be a brand that's selling between two weeks all the way up until two months and then the long category is actually going to feature brands that take over three months to sell. So let's just jump right into it. So the first brand is actually gonna be Judy Blue. I put out a video many, many months ago talking about 100% sell through rate brands and Judy Blue was one of them and she sells fast, okay? She is on the fast list because she sells fast. Now I've been able to sell her between $18 to $35. Now the $18 was for the pair of shorts that I picked up and that was my first time selling Judy Blue and at that time, your girl was pricing things pretty low and also didn't know Judy Blue was a like hot commodity brand. And honestly, y'all, for two years, it's still been a pretty popular brand to pick up. So if you see it out there in the wild, pick it up. Maywell is another brand that I really enjoy picking up. I pick it up literally about 95% of the time that I see it. If it is not flawed, I like to pick up their older styles as well as their current styles because their older styles still sell. They sell for maybe $25, $30, which I still think is a great price point, but then their newer styles are gonna get you upward of 40 to 60, sometimes even more. So I always like to pick up Maywell, especially if it's priced at the thrift store for a decent price. I'd have to put this on the mid list because because it does take two weeks to two months to sell. The next brand is actually gonna be Levi's. Now, I've picked up so many pairs of Levi's since I've been a reseller. I've picked up their vintage style 505s, 515s, and then I've currently started finding the wedgie jeans as well as the 7-Eleven, I wanna say high-rise skinny jeans. Those do pretty well for me. However, the 7-Eleven skinny jeans, I only get between 20 to $25 for those, which I'm completely okay with because it is a fast flip. Now, of course, if you are gonna be selling something for 20 to $25, you wanna make sure your cost of goods are pretty low. So if you're getting it for $4 or under, ideal. So Levi's is actually put on the mid list and I've been able to sell it between $25 all the way up until $50. So that just goes to show like it really doesn't matter which style it is as long as it's a style that somebody like actually wants, you know? Another brand is American Eagle. Now I have a love-hate relationship with this brand only because in my mind I feel like I should be getting a lot more for it. But she is really popular and I think that having brands that people generally love to buy in your closet is a great way to get more eyes on your closet. So I always pick up American Eagle if it is priced at a good price and the style is current current if it has all of those distressing the rip at the knee if it has all of those styles if it's curvy like pretty much a style that I would wear that is what I'm going to pick up in American Eagle because it sells I'd have to say that this is more of a mid-tier brand for me um, so it doesn't really sell as quick as I would like but it also doesn't take that long to sell I've been able to sell American Eagle between $15 all the way up until $28 so it's not really that much okay so that's why I don't pick it up as often as I would like just because y'all know that some of the thrift stores be marking this shit up and your girl's not paying nine dollars for a pair of jeans that I'm only gonna flip for $25 and have to cost some goods fees and all that waste of time okay the next one is Abercrombie & Fitch. Now, I actually recently started picking this brand up. I wanna say this year, because before I didn't really care too much for it because I didn't know that it was like an in brand. So I went on and picked it up. This brand is actually on the mid list, so it does take between two weeks to two months to sell. I've been able to sell this brand between $27 all the way up to $50. So it is a brand that I do keep my eye out on. This one also does bring more eyes to your closet, so this is one of those brands that you would 
pick up when you see it, especially if it's priced pretty low. The next one is Anthro Brands. Now, I do want to show you guys the two styles that I was able to pick up with this brand. One was Pill Crow and the Letterpress. Another one was Holding Horses. Now, I'm sure these are sold outside of Anthropology, but I just put them under Anthro Brands because, you know, why the fuck not? These styles are completely similar, and you guys see the price point for it. They're just the it girls. Like, it's something about these flare jeans that get the girls going. They got that high rise, and it's more of that 70s vibe. If you guys see styles like this, pick them up because the girls eat that shit up, okay? Now, this style and these brands are put on the fast list because they sold within two weeks. Like, I'm not kidding. Within two weeks, they sold. They got a lot of attention, and then they sold, and we love that. All right, so we move on to Frame. Now, I was really late picking up this brand. I picked it up at a thrift store and I was super excited because I'm like, wait, this is a good brand. It's selling for a lot, the comps are good, but clearly I didn't pick up the right style and I believe it's the Lehigh Skinny. Although it still sells, I think my hopes were a little bit higher. So I try to be really particular when I find this brand and only pick up styles that are more current. I've been able to sell this brand between $31 to $38 and it is definitely on the long list because it was a very long wait before they sold. Can Can is another brand that I used to pick up and I used to love picking it up because it kind of did what Judy Blue did so it gets a lot of attention. However, I noticed that this brand is declining just a little bit and I kind of don't want to waste my time on it so I try not to pick it up as much as I would like. If the price is right, I'll pick it up but otherwise I'm not picking it up. This brand not only sits for a long time, it only sells between 50 to $27 so that is something that I like to consider when I'm out there sourcing is like is this gonna take a long time to sell is this gonna sell quickly and if it's gonna take a long time I kind of don't want to store it because I'm not a storage unit okay miss me is another brand that I see a lot of resellers have talked about said that it's old news don't pick it up she's dead whatever the case is Honestly, y'all, I've been picking up Miss Me jeans when I see them, when they are not priced at $15, $20 fucking dollars, like these thrift stores have been pricing them because some of them do sell for a decent amount. Some of them don't. Um, however, this brand is one of those brands that I am like really picky about. I've been able to sell it between $15 to $38 for their jeans. And I just, I don't know, like I feel like this is one of those brands where it's like, the older people are more privy to this brand more so than the younger people, if you will. So it's just one of those things. I wouldn't pick it up all the time. Another one is Paige Denim. Now, I feel like I was late to the game again when it came to Paige Denim um, because when I started picking it up, I noticed that it would sit and it would sit and it would sit and I would get lucky that somebody finally came along and bought it. And then we move on to now where I have one pair of jeans that's been sitting for over a year now. So I realized that this is really not a brand that I would pick up anymore just because it takes forever to sell and it's just not worth it. I've been able to sell Paige between $29 all the way up until $39. Um, so I really wanna put it on my do not pick up list, but I feel like I should give it a chance if it's not priced too high at the thrift store. The next brand is Silver Jeans. Now, I, I want to say maybe about three or four months ago, or maybe early this year, I started picking up Silver Jeans because I heard that they do well uh, with the cowgirls out there. So I picked them up and I noticed that they, they get a little bit of attention, um, but it is a certain price point that you have to sell them for in order for them to sell quickly. And I do think that I priced mine a little bit high when I initially listed them and it kind of deterred people away from purchasing them. So when I brought the price down to a more affordable amount, I noticed that it got a lot more attention. So this is one of those brands that I would definitely pick up only if the price is right. So I only make between $36 to $39 for these jeans and I do think that they would be a great bread and butter brand to have in your closet. And they're on the mid list, so they take between two weeks to two months to sell for me. The next one is Kabi. Now, I've had so much luck with Kabi, and then I've also had not so much luck with Kabi. And it's one of those brands that's also on the mid list, so it takes two weeks, two months to sell. And I feel like it really depends on the style because I've picked up a wide range of Kabi jeans and some of them sell within like two days. Some take a week, 
some take three months some take four months so you get the gist like so Kabi is just like everywhere if you will um but it is one of those brands that if i find it and it's a good price i'm gonna pick it up another brand is free people oh my god so free people is a really good brand to pick up um, I do think that she is very much so declining. So I would only pick her up if you get it for like a dollar, two dollars at the bins because you're not going to sell her for much. Okay. But when it comes to their denim jeans, their denim just does not do what she needs to do like at all. And I mean, she sits and she sits and she sits and she sits okay so with the free people no matter if it's a current style or not they still take a very long time to sell so that's why i'm really really picky and then i also i kind of have them more so on the do not pick list because it takes too damn long like and i am not a storage unit like i told y'all before and she likes to sit a very long time i've been able to sell free people between 30 to 34 dollars so it's not a terrible price point but if she's sitting for damn near seven eight months she finally sell for 30 dollars like girl what the fuck all right so another denim brand that i no longer pick up is eileen fisher i've had maybe about a good three or four pair of eileen fisher denim jeans and i'm still stuck with one they sit for a very long time and i think initially i did have them priced a little bit too high just because i thought that you know it's eileen fisher they're gonna sell you know what i'm saying the girl's gonna pay for this but the girls did not okay so the price point for eileen fisher is not very good I've been able to sell it between 20 to 29 dollars and i don't think that that is worth my time when it comes to a popular brand like this um so she's out the door another brand is bdg now i've heard great things about this brand however i don't think that it's the brand for me i've been able to pick it up a few times and i've noticed that the items sit for an extended amount of time and it's just not worth the profit so the only time that i've been able to sell the one item out of the two bdg jeans was for 13 dollars. so thank god i got them at the bands because girl and they were high rise and they were flare legs so they were in style i just don't know i just don't know if bdg is the brand for me so i don't pick it up anymore good american uh good american was my baby like a year ago honestly um and it was on my bolo list for a very long time and i finally found it and then i found her like two more times and i was pretty happy i don't think that good american is where it used to be where you can get like 60 80 dollars for it um you definitely have to bring that down to about 40 50 dollars but i do think that it's still a good brand to pick up however i have this one on the mid tier so it does take a little bit of time to sell but it still sells i've been able to sell my good american between 46 dollars to 50 dollars so right around that mark that i was just telling y'all about another brand is adriano goldschmied um now i heard that this brand was popular maybe three or four years ago however i picked it up maybe about a good year ago and i noticed that it did sell kind of quickly so i was just kind of like oh interesting let me pick it up so since then i think i've picked up maybe about six to seven pairs of adriano goldschmied of course i passed on a lot of them but some of them i picked up have been hits and some of them have been misses and i noticed that the brand still sells so i'm gonna pick it up as long as the price point is pretty good and i've noticed that they sell between like the mid amount all the way up until the long amount that i have as a category and they take quite a bit of time so i guess it's the right buyer at the right time i think it's only been one time that i was able to list a pair of adriano goldschmied jeans on ebay i want to say and they were like a flare high rise style so i'm assuming that they were a newer style and i sold them for 50 dollars, and they sold within like two days so i was just like whoa love her so i've been able to sell adriano goldschmied between 26 dollars all the way up until 50 dollars we're almost done y'all so if you've stayed this long you might as well like the video subscribe because you're here so why the fuck not all right so the next one is rag and bone jeans now i heard that this used to be a popular brand back in the day as well so i'm kind of like at the very wits end of picking some of the styles up now i don't see it very often but when i do i vet the style a little bit and then i end up taking it home because she sells okay so like it's not a brand that i would consistently pick up but it's not a brand that i would like pass up all the time you get what i'm saying so it's one of those brands it's like right in the middle she takes between two weeks all the way up until a year or so to sell so it's one of those hit or misses 
I've been able to sell rag and bone jeans between $20 all the way up until $37. So it's still somewhat okay. I guess, you know, it really depends on the style. Cut from the cloth, Lord Jesus. Um, This brand, I feel like I dabbled in. I think I bought it the first time and it sold. So I was just like, oh, okay, let me pick it up again. But I feel like the price point is just not there for me. And they take forever in a day to sell, like forever in a day. So they're on the long list and I just, I don't pick it up anymore. It's a brand that I just pass up. I don't care if it's a current style, I'm not picking it up because she takes too long to sell. I've been only able to sell cut from the cloth between $15 all the way up until $19. So you see why I'm like, it's a no go for me. And lastly, these are gonna be three brands that I picked up one time and they sold for a good price and they sold quickly. I don't want to fuck this up, so I'm gonna have Siri say the word. Okay, so the first one is a Goldie, the second one is Mother, and the third one is Allegiance. Yeah, that's the one. Um, so I'll have all three of those on the screen, but those three I picked up one time and they sold quick as hell within two weeks. So these are on the fast list and they got a lot of attention. And I truly feel like if the gods bless me again to pick them up, I'm gonna pick them up because the girls love those brands. I've been able to sell them between $44 all the way up until $60. So 100% would recommend, okay? So that is my 20 denim brands list. Let me know if some of these brands are on your do not pick up list or if some of these brands are on your I gotta get list because you know, I wanna know because I'm nosy. Um, but thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching this video. I'll see you next week, bye.